Hi, it's Elizabeth here, and we are in the heat of summer and coming upon the 4th of July holiday. We've only got a couple weeks away, so I have a really fun project that involves painting. And it actually came from an idea I found on Pinterest. We all love Pinterest and the ideas we get from social media outlets like Pinterest. And um, this is one I adapted a little bit, and I think it'll come in handy for you if you're looking to show some patriotic flair at your farm stand. Um, so what we're going to do today is dress up a traditional wooden bushel basket. And you're going to make this eventually look like the American flag. What you'll need are just some simple materials. Um, of course, you'll need your basket. You could choose from a variety of sizes, do a little basket or a bigger basket, depending on what you plan to use them for. Um, you'll need some red and white paint. And then find a, a kind of cool ribbon. You could just go with a, a blue ribbon, um, or you could go with a blue print. But you want to keep in with those classic red, white, and blue colors when you're making your basket. Um, and you could do this for any holiday, really. I just had the sort of idea for the 4th of July. Um, you're going to start by setting off your stripes. And what you'll notice if you look at the patterns of these baskets is they sort of weave with these slats. And um, there's a pattern every other slat. Now, you will have a little gap between, and you can sort of see this, the gaps with this finished product here. Um, well, not quite finished product. But you will have some gaps, but you really just want to get the, the red and white stripes sort of um, impression. So what you'll do is you will set off your, um, with some just paint tape that you would use on walls, um, set off your lines so you can make some really clean, crisp um, stripes. And you see I've already done one here. Um, but the best thing to do is just stroke downward. And don't worry about getting those paint, that paint tape a little bit wet. And um, give it a good coat. Um, and then sort of go under your basket just a little bit. And you'll, you'll have some paint clump right here where this wooden piece is. So just sort of smooth that out as you go. No problem. What you're going to do is you're going to continue working on this um, and make your white stripes first. Let it dry for a few hours, I'd say about eight hours is safe, and um, take your paint off and then make some new lines um, where you want to put your red stripes. Now if you're a really good painter and you have a really steady hand, maybe you can do that um, paint in those red stripes yourself. Um, I'll leave that up to you. But your second step, once everything is dry, you can see we have here um, the painted product. And I'm sort of happy with my stripes. Uh, they could probably be a little bit more clean, but you can always go back in and straighten out those lines with some um, touch-up paint. Um, and we're going to add on our blue. We're just going to simply use a glue gun to put some hot glue on different spots around this band that goes across the top. And measure your band and uh, make sure the ribbon you're using is the same um, measurement as your band. And while that glue is hot, we're just going to place it around the rim and press it on like so. And then I'll just give this a little tuck in. You might want to just fold it. But um, what you're left with is a very patriotic little basket. And you can use this to put any of your vegetables or your products in and get some extra attention on the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, everybody.